We will ask you what you think in the gallery of the future might be. In the meantime, has anyone got any ideas about what they think the gallery of the future is going to be like? I think it'll be like part of the picture, where you can go inside a picture and just walk around. But we were saying that art would go round, so it yeah. would get very um, technical for like yeah. the next bit, and then people would get like bored of technology or to get tired of technology, so they'd look back and it would come back to being traditional art, and then it would keep going round in a circle. Maybe in the future people will think in a different way, and because we would have much more advanced technology, maybe paintings won't exist anymore, nobody would do paintings anymore. But I was just thinking the past things that have been here, you know, like the big crack in the floor and yeah. the slides, they're more interactive pieces of art which you know everyone can kind of take their own thing on well, like outrageous and stuff because yeah. like you start seeing art underwater in big landscape maybe like hanging in the sky or something so or like all over the walls and stuff you know i think it'd have to suit everyone so it probably have it probably have to incorporate like really old stuff really new stuff but having like on different levels and stuff so you, every, you can look at the same thing from loads of different perspectives there's like information on glass touch screens and stuff right. like there's glass touch well there's glass screens placed around yeah. and like you can see the virtual tour guides and they move around the glasses right. you wear goggles and you can see the artist explaining what he's done and something like that robot tour guides as yeah. well so that, like real tour guides just like robot ones that follow you <laughs> um we had an idea to like we can edit the artist's work right. so you like go up to it and then you can change it and add bits yeah. on and stuff and then we said like a lot more outside stuff so that you like get outdoors yeah. And then you can leave like comments as well for people's work and like review it. People in galleries always have opinions on different types of art and how it should be better or modified. So they could create what they should want the piece of art to be. Um, say if you like the Mona Lisa, you want to put like a smile on her, then yeah. you can like adapt that piece of artwork to yourself and it will kind of like rub off again, so it doesn't matter. So you can like leave your mark on some art or something. We've got this idea here that people have come up with their own sort of colour in Mona Lisa's. Maybe people, maybe there won't be art in the future if people are not that into art. Maybe it will be replaced by something else. But what will that be? We'll be dead. Yeah. Why will we be dead? I'm blaming America. So, so well, is there some sort of war or sort of like destruction what why will what will so the gallery if you we, we've got it all nice but actually it's going to be destroyed is that what you're saying nuclear submarines in america and china we're all fucked now <laughs> okay so it's going to be destroyed we're going to have this the gallery of the future is going to be a gallery in ruins we came up with the idea that yeah. all the artwork would go in a giant fish okay so for this to work we're going to go with Liam's idea that the world didn't go too well and uh, everything flooded. But luckily we're all right somehow and we, uh, we swim about and this, this big fish like turns up and you go, oh, it's an art gallery. We've, we've tried to incorporate everything that everyone said. So it's like revolving underwater in a glass dome. It glows in the dark. So it's pretty crazy. I don't think you're going to completely lose something like Tate. But I think arts are kind of going to be a bit more interactive. You're not going to go just to the Tate, but you're going to. It's like when you have a, a rave or a, a yeah. club night. You're going to go to that place or wherever that is. So it's going to be exhibited all over the place. Because they're saying they can. They're saying they're going to take it like that. We're going to have holidays to the moon and that, yeah. right? So they could be like take modern on the moon. Um, that could be like you know on the internet instead of you being in a building. So you can just like go on the website and stuff yeah. and then say oh, this is the picture I like and stuff like that. So you don't have to go and visit the place. You'd have a storm of art encircling you and you could pick out each part of, like, say you like this picture, you could just touch it and you could add it to a collection. Right, so that's like... Like, my, my report. Right. Like that. I think that art should be for everyone, not just for someone that owns a computer. It's, so it should be accessible to everyone. What does that mean, though? I, I think that technology's taken over and it's going to kill what we know as art. People go to the art museum to see the art in life, not so they can see it on a screen. So you think well, the, the internet can then replace? I know, I don't think they could replace. Yeah, maybe they should give you those segways so you can go see the art in a little segway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe there's some sort of transport that you can use, like uh, vehicles to get around, maybe cars or something. 
and um, the flat escalator things that go around the gallery. Travelators. Yeah, like a train as well. Yeah. It's a game, like the gallery is a bit like a space game where you to go to the next floor you have to re like get through the game kind of thing, if you get what I mean. And Adding on to the game idea, um, to get to the next level you have to like answer the, some of these questions and I thought that depending what age you are you have to like collect right. five tokens or something. Right, so it's, you kind of got levels, is that right? Yeah, instead of like going upstairs. We're going to take these ideas, we're going to turn them into images, we're going to put them online so you will be able to see them. Uh, we, this is just the start of what we're doing now, um, just to try to kind of get the, the creative flow going. Um, but uh, it's, been, it's been a lot of very, very good ideas. I think you should all give yourselves a big round of applause.